Hi everybody, my name is Paul. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango is my ham radio cosign. And uh, Mr. Pierre Aisa uh, asked me for help uh, with his uh, MCHF radio he built. So here you can see the, the package I have got from Italy, uh, from Pierre, and uh, he would like to uh, uh, repair the white screen issue on this rig. So possibly um, there is uh, a faulty, uh, faulty display you need, or maybe something wrong with the uh, soldering on the pads. So I'm very curious what will be the problem and uh, now I will go to open the box, uh, look at the uh, transceiver inside and possibly repair the rig. So go ahead. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, a bit of challenge <laughs> to me to open the box because I don't know where is the opening actually. Okay, so take a look what is inside so this is a disassembled uh, chassis of the radio and yeah, some kind of wire here uh, the radio itself the knobs and the card from Pierre Isa And the message, great. Hello, Paul. <laughs> and the rest, it should be the radio itself. So, white screen issue so I see that there is uh, an extension on the sides all right so I will change the camera now to see the closest uh, view and Let's go to repair this thing. On the beginning, I have to check the white screen issue first. So I turn on the power supply and then the radio. Now I should loading the main menu and you can see the green is, is shining and the red one also. Now is only the green so it means that the main menu should be loaded but normally should be loaded but we, we can't see anything on the screen because it's completely blank completely white okay I try to switch off all 
Okay, looks like the CPU working, but the screen is the problem. Okay, so firstly, I have to check the soldering job on the PCB board, especially from the bottom side of the PCB. So here we can see uh, the soldering job of these uh, little pads for uh, screen for the screen as you can see I have to remove uh, the, uh, the paste or the flux and next I will see how the soldering job looks like I'm using uh, the isopropyl alcohol so during the checking uh, soldering job on the main CPU as you can see this is the ARM CPU uh, uh, under magnification you can see here a, a little connection between two pads from the MCU so the first thing is to remove this connection and then I have to try turn on the radio and we'll see if the issue is gone or not I have to use a flux and the soldering uh, device okay and isopropyl alcohol to clean the pads on the CPU Great, it looks much better. So here you can see how they look like after repair. They are separate, nicely separate now. So I'm going to turn on the radio and we'll see if the issue is gone or not. seems that the attempt number one doesn't solve the problem so now I have to look closer to the uh, screen uh, pads and a soldering if it's all okay over there I disassembled the uh, screen on the UI board and I see here that the one pad was missing and it is a clock it is a reset LCD a pad so it doesn't have um, any connection to that and uh, the pad is uh, completely uh, missing right here here is an empty space and if you look closer you can see this tiny line here which is which is the trace uh, damaged the uh, uh, to the to the screen uh, some of uh, 
pads still holding here on on the places because the uh, soldering job has been done not very successful and hmm, I'm worried about the uh, uh, repairing of this thing will be uh, very problematic I also found these scratches so the traces are mm, a little bit a bit damaged so I don't think it's it's a good soldering job done on this uh, on this board unfortunately yeah and the other thing is that when I was um, repairing this uh, soldering of these jumpers I found that some of them are broken in a part like you see here this one and this one and also you can see the scratches here on this board okay so now I removed all the jumpers uh, some of them were broken so I will make a and jumpers by my own oops So this side is finished and now the second side the same. Second side is also finished and I have to clean these jumpers with the isopropyl alcohol. And I have to I have to remove all the flukes. be good to remove also this little jumper here and here all right so my next worry is uh, this little pins which are uh, soldered to the, to the PCB board and I'm really worried that the spaces between them are so small and maybe some of them are touch each other which is not good and uh, I want to remove them remove them all from the PCB board
Okay, so um, I checked and prepared the both sides. Um, I made a new connections, as you can see here. It's a connection number one because here was missing the path. Connection number two, connection number three, connection number four and on the other side this is the bag light control connection also I made from the tiny wire here and here is the uh, screen module and the missing connection for a reset is also made here of this little wire I had to disassemble uh, this plastic uh, base of the screen. I had to a little lift off this uh, uh, metallic shield and take off this uh, plastic base. And then I had to a uh, little uh, move, uh, move away the uh, screen to see the trace coming from this side to the other side I had to scratch this uh, this this trace and made a new connection so now it should be prepared to join together and uh, I had to so I have to solder these all connections together so here you can see the my plan how I Oh, I want to realize realize this uh, uh, connection of two boards. Okay, so I go to solder these things together. Flux is very important if you soldering small parts like this. And my advice never heat up too much the pads if you soldering such small parts like this because it, it will cause the same issue when traces will lose and you have to very complicated repair the PCB with additional tiny wires and so on And of course you have to use a proper soldering station. And now the funniest part of this repair, I have to join these little these little wires together so I could make a little longer this little wire because it's too too much um, far away from from the pad this is uh, this is okay but this is too short and this one I want to wrap around this uh, thicker wire and then I have to cut this wire here somewhere on top so I try to make a ball here Something like this. 
and then I will connect this little shorter wire to to the bowl. I try to connect this this one. Perfect. Okay, this is this is good. But I have to wrap this this wire around. I have to be careful because I don't want to break to break this wire it's so tiny. Okay. Now I I will fill it with solder iron. gonna be problem it's still too short so hmm. I have to add one little piece of wire from the other side and then I will join this together Oh gosh, it's so tiny, but it's done. All right, so we have a connection and second connection here and third connection here. Now I can cut this thicker wire good okay and the last one I have on the opposite side mm. here yeah also is so short Sorry. Also, is so short here. So I have to add one more here on the other side. Okay, so uh, the second connection is done. As you can see here, I soldered just a little piece of thicker wire down there and I connected this little tiny wire right to it so now it should be fine and all connections I needed are are finished also here and inside I left on uh, one uh, wire as you can see inside there is a wire between the plates because uh, the another missing connection. All right, so now I want to set this radio back together and try if this radio will work or not after this 
a repair or modification. Okay, so radio has been assembled and uh, finally it's time to test if it works or not. So connect the power and switch on and ta-da! Okay, finally there is no white screen issue. Great, so my modification worked um, perfectly but there is still some kind of problem with the uh, firmware or something because as you can see there is still this screen and normally it should boot into the normal mode. You should see the frequency and the spectrum scale but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happening so I have to investigate more about this problem but the main reason, main reason why I uh, repaired this radio was the white screen issue and uh, this issue has been uh, repaired so finally the radio works I can see on the screen and my advice is to use a uh, proper soldering iron and uh, to have some better skill to uh, soldering these little parts on such a radio so be careful if you will uh, assembling your own radio so thank you for now and I'm going to repair this uh, this uh, issue 7-3 for now bye bye